Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this Celtic knot. First, we'll create guides to help us with our drawing. Let's make a new document. Now go to the Line Segment tool, click on it, hold, and select the Rectangular Grid tool. Double click on it to open the dialog box and let's set the horizontal and vertical dividers to 15. Click on the artboard, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to constrain it. Next, we will delete the four bottom rows of this grid. With the grid still selected, go to the Shape Builder tool. Now press and hold down the ALT key and drag your mouse across the rows and any remaining lines to delete them. Let's resize it and recenter it. Next, we will create a center mark. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and holding down the SHIFT and ALT keys, draw a circle in the middle of this grid. Now select everything, go to VIEW, GUIDES and choose MAKE GUIDES. I'm going to assign numbers and letters to the grid's X and Y axis so you can see which intersection I select. Let's create a new layer. Make sure the fill is set to none and leave the stroke black. Now select the curvature tool. If you would like to learn how to use this tool, please check out my previous tutorial. I include a link to it at the end of this video and in the description below. If your Illustrator's version doesn't have the curvature tool, you can use the pen tool instead. And we are ready to create our design. Set the first anchor point at 5B, then move over to 3A, double click on 1A to create a sharp corner. Make sure you click on the anchor point and not a guideline. Now move over to 1C and finish it at 2E. Holding down the control key, click away to deselect. Let's make this line. Set the first anchor point at 3D, then click in the center of this square and finish it at 4C. Let's create the outer border. Double click on 2E to make a sharp corner, single click on 1G to make a curve and double click on 2I to make a sharp corner again. Make another curve, now a corner piece like we did at the beginning, one curve over here, another corner piece, two curves, next corner piece and one more curve to finish the path. Click away to deselect and switch to the selection tool. Next, we'll copy and reflect the small segment. First, make sure it is selected and then either press the letter O for the reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now, holding down the ALT key, click on this intersection to set the reflection point. Select the vertical axis and click copy. Now select both parts and like before set the reflection point in the center but this time choose the horizontal axis and click copy. Next we'll create these diagonal lines. First select the curvature tool and then click away from any lines. Now move the anchor point to line up with this intersection. Next click away from existing lines and move the anchor point to line up with the other intersection. Now holding down the control key click away to deselect. And let's do the same with the other corners. 
Using the same method we will draw these lines which are at a 45 degree angle. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Start at this intersection, then double click here to get a sharp corner. Now set the anchor point halfway between these two intersections. Double click on 11F. Double click on 8C. Halfway between these two intersections. Double click on 6C. Double click on 3F. Halfway here, double click on 3H and double click on 10O. Now start at 4C, double click on 11J, halfway between these two intersections, double click on 11L, double click on 8O, halfway between these two, double click on 6O. Double click on 3L, halfway between these two intersections. Double click on 3J and double click on 10C. Let's turn off the visibility of the two bottom layers and unlock the layer with the other lines. Now press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Then go to the Shape Builder tool and let's set the fill to black. Next we'll connect some shapes together to get this weaving effect. It is a good idea to have a sketch for reference. To connect shapes together click on a shape, hold and drag across the part that you want to connect. When you are finished, switch to the Selection tool, select everything, make sure the stroke is on top and change it to whatever color you like. Finally, if you wish, you can increase the stroke's weight. To see how it will look on a transparent background, press the Ctrl, Shift and D keys on your keyboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.